Sorry, but no funny teaser today. In fact, I'm about to get very serious for a few moments. Not really. Just last month, we hit our three-year anniversary, launched our 120th video, and surpassed the one and a half million views mark. Thank you. We have covered a lot of ground in the last three years, but there's also a lot that we haven't even begun to cover. So as a reminder of some of the other amazing stuff that you will find on the Optician Works website, here we go. Taking great measurements. Step-by-step -step instructions on getting good fitting heights. How to get a great frame fit every time using our one, two, three method. Dispensing basics and troubleshooting. All about tinting, low vision, contact lenses, sales, sales in the work environment, business management, company relations, and an entire section on vision care plans, including examples of calculating customer out-of-pocket expenses. So yes, the Laramie K Optician Works YouTube channel covers so much great stuff but there is still plenty more to learn over at the Optician Works website. Please check it out, and here's a little taste. Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where we're going to do something a little bit different today. On the Optician Works website in the first course, there's a lesson called the Human Visual System. It is an amazing piece written by an optician who became an optometrist. In that section, Dr. Eric talks about his theory of reverse projection, and I wanted to bring that to video to help you visualize the concept. I'm sure you're all familiar with the projector. That thing, there, those, they're, they're everywhere now, right? If you pop the top off of one of those, that's what you have. They are connected to a computer. The computer is responsible for image generation. You have a cable that connects the computer to the projector, and that goes through the motherboard, and that's connected to the color processor, and there is a light source. Just like an old-fashioned movie projector with film, you still have a light source in really intense, bright white light. You usually have a couple of prisms, you have one, two, or three of the color processors, the prism breaks down your white light into your component of red, green, and blue. The color processor rearranges those into something like 35 trillion different colors in all of your pixels. Still going this way, pushing out into the theater. You have a set of lenses. The lenses are simply to allow us to adjust the length from the projector to the screen, and of course to focus the image so you see it clearly. Light's passing out until it hits this beautiful, huge movie screen, 20 feet tall, 30 feet wide. You get to sit in the audience and munch on your $18 popcorn and sip on your $8 Coke while you're watching your favorite movie. So there's my screen, there's what I'm watching. We are gonna take that and we're gonna turn it around. Imagine if the whiteboard was your entire visual field. Imagine when I'm standing in this one place, everything that I can see is the screen. And I'm gonna take that screen, all that light, all that information, all that color, and I am gonna push it and focus it down to go in to your eye. I'm going to take all that information and I am going to push it through a hole in your eye, as Dr. Eric says, smaller than a dime. We are going to take 
light and we are going to reverse it. It goes through. This is sunlight now. We have a light source, right? It's getting reflected off of objects in our world. It's getting pushed into our eye. Our eye has a series of lenses. We have a cornea, we have aqueous humor, we have crystalline lens, we have vitreous humor. And the light is going to hit a combination of that color processor and the motherboard. That is our retina. Let's call it, now we've got our, our this becomes our retina. The two working together. Converts light, because it's still light when, until it hits the retina. Turns it into nerve impulses and chemical reactions. And then it passes through not a cable, but what? The optic nerve. And what does that cable connect to? It connects to our computer or our brain. Our brain is our image generator. It's why we say we see with our brains, not with our eyes. I love that. Thank you for watching. Please make sure that every lens in your reverse projection world comes from Laramie K. If you're watching us on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. Watching us on Facebook, please give us a like. And I will see you again next week.